The objects we interact with every day are being completely transformed. In the next 50 years, things like your shampoo bottle, sunglasses, or wallet may come from thin air. It comes with a number. This is my air carbon wallet. And this number here is a blockchain number. You type it in and you can see the carbon footprint of this specific product. And just having that information now gives you the choice. And you can decide, do you care about climate change or not? We think a lot of people do. It's important that someday every product has a disclosure that talks about how much water it took, what its carbon footprint was. And so, yes, we hope that that becomes a really important part of the lexicon. Carbon doesn't have to go into the air. And we know that because now we can hold it in our hands. That means that climate change and all of its consequences are not a foregone conclusion. Greenhouse gases are a fundamental material of nature. They keep us warm enough to live and are needed to grow the food we eat. But our dependence on fossil fuels has taken our symbiotic relationship with greenhouse gases from pleasantly toasty to a raging inferno in very little time. But scientists and innovators have been creating solutions to transmute our surplus of greenhouse gases into all kinds of everyday use objects. Most people don't realize 30% of petroleum used today actually ends up in the things we use, not in power, not in fuel. Jennifer Holmgren is a chemist and the CEO of Lanzatech, a Chicago-based biotech company that specializes in carbon recycling technology. She started her career working in the petrochemical industry, but eventually transitioned to creating tech that capitalizes on waste. And so I got really excited about biological feedstocks. And then I realized that maybe there wasn't enough of that feedstock to displace the 100 million barrels a day of fossil production capacity. And so that's when I started looking for waste resources. Could waste resources be utilized? Lanzatech is working with waste carbon that would otherwise be emitted as greenhouse gas. Essentially, Lanzatech have invented a commercial reactor where a special type of bacteria eats this carbon and converts it into chemicals. So these bacteria, they're actually our great, 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 great grandparents. So once upon a time, the atmosphere on Earth looked like the atmosphere in a steel mill. It was just dirty. As we transitioned to an oxygen atmosphere that's good for humans, these organisms kind of went and hid underneath the ocean in vents and rabbit guts in places where it could hide from air. That's right, rabbit guts. It turns out a key bacterium in the intestinal tract of rabbits converts carbon in the air into other forms of carbon, like ethanol. Essentially, Lanzatech had to figure out how to create a very large and efficient industrial-sized rabbit gut, or bioreactor, that can essentially bolt onto existing industrial facilities, such as steel mills or landfills, and use their off-gases to feed the bunny-loving bacteria. These bacteria then metabolize the gas and excrete ethanol. As we learned more about the technology, we realized just how many other pockets of waste, not just steel mills or ferro alloy plants, could also provide a similar feedstock that our bacteria like to eat. So all of a sudden, the whole waste world opened up in front of our eyes. The fossil-free ethanol created at Lancetech facilities is being used as feedstock to create the plastic bottles used to hold everything, from drinking water to shampoo. It's even being used in the synthetic fibers that make Lululemon's yoga pants. And of course, the ethanol can be easily blended into gasoline. So Lanzatech are now fueling jets. If we turn greenhouse gas into a product that performs great, meets the price expectations of a consumer, but helps improve the environment, then you don't have to say, oh, please do a good thing, or you should or shouldn't do something. This is just a better product. Mark Harima is the CEO and founder of New Light Technologies a California biotech company that takes methane and carbon dioxide, two of the most prevalent greenhouse gases, and turns them into a polymer they call air carbon. With air carbon, this is a material that in its raw state, from a performance standpoint, fairly closely resembles polypropylene. Polypropylene is the second largest volume plastic in the world. And so that gives it a pretty wide applicability. And so we had to say, well, okay, it can do a lot of things. Where can we have the biggest impact? If you look at ocean plastic pollution, the two main sources are fishing equipment and foodware. So that's our main focus today, making cutlery that is dishwasher safe, but goes away if it ends up in the environment. Like Lanzatech, they're using gas fermentation to create the polymer. But what's most promising about their product is that it can mimic what plastic is capable of doing, 
but it's biodegradable. This material will degrade as fast as any other organic material, similar to like a banana peel or a tree leaf would degrade. The other space that we focus on is, is fashion. Fashion is one of the most polluting industries in the world, certainly top five. Our vision is how can we help decarbonize fashion, make it a force for good, where it's actually reversing the flow of carbon out of the environment. And so we started by making products like eyewear, wallets and bags that have a net carbon negative impact. Most recently, getting a delivery of one of our eyewear to my house was a remarkable feeling. I mean, I remember when it was just this crazy idea and then all of a sudden I can go online, I can press a few buttons and a couple days later, I get a pair of eyewear delivered to me that are carbon negative, made by microorganisms from the ocean that have eaten greenhouse gas and turned it into those eyewear. And then I can type in a number with a blockchain tracker that tells me every single step in the production process and what its carbon footprint was. They're super cheap. <laughs> One recent announcement we had was we've teamed up with Nike to figure out how to use air carbon in their products to reduce their carbon footprint. On the foodware side, we teamed up with Shake Shack to roll out some of our initial foodware products. Walking into a Shake Shack, getting straws and cutlery made from air carbon and not plastic, knowing that those improve the environment and wouldn't contribute to you know, accumulating plastic in the environment. And also seeing that on a, on a scale with a well-known fast food company was just so cool. I believe 50 years from now, there will be no word waste. Everything will be reused. We will be like nature, where everything in nature gets reused. The tree buds, if you look at a natural ecosystem, it reuses everything. I want humans to be part of that ecosystem. I want us to reuse everything. And I believe 50 years from now, that will be what we do.